This is lesson number 10 in a series of finger independence exercises for your fretting hand. These are all in the key of C minor and should be played either finger style or with hybrid picking. The exercises in this lesson all feature moving bass lines against a static upper voice. If you'd like to take a closer look at these exercises, you can download them for free from my website. I'll leave a link for that in the description. We're at the top of page 17 of the finger independence PDF. This is exercise 63. We begin with octave C's, fingers one and three. Keep your first finger down while you play the moving bass line. So we have finger one and three. Then in the bass we have finger two, and then finger four on this A flat. So you have to stretch for that. Next measure, we replay the melody note, and our bass note is finger three, back to finger four, finger two, and we have those octave C's at the end, fingers one and three. Number 63. Number 64 has the same bass line as number 63, but we change the upper voice in measure two. We begin with octave C's, fingers one and three. Keep your first finger down on that C while you play finger two in the bass and then finger four. Next measure, the upper voice changes to an open second string and third finger in the bass. Finger four in the bass, finger two, ending with those octave C's, fingers one and three. Exercise 64. Moving on to number 65 on page 17. We begin with octave E flats, fingers one and four. Keep your fourth finger down while you play the moving bass line. So that's fingers one and four, then finger three, then open, and finger two. Measure two is the same as measure one. End with a low C with either second or third finger, your choice, and that same E flat with your fourth finger. Number 65. Number 66 has the same bass line as number 65, but the upper voice is different. Hold your fourth finger down on this G on the first string. Keep holding it down while you play the bass line. The bass is going to be finger one, and then three, open, and two. Measure two, same as measure one. Replay the, the upper note. And then end with this low C third finger and that same fourth finger on that G up top. Exercise 66. Top of page 18, number 67. We have the same bass line as we had in number 66 and number 65, but the upper voice is going to change in measure two. We begin with octave E flats, fingers one and four. Keep your fourth finger down while you play the moving bass line below. So that's in the bass, that's going to be, going to be finger one, finger three, then open, and then two. Next measure, the upper voice changes to a G. Play that with your fourth finger and we have the same bass line down below. So that's again gonna be fingers one, three, open, and two. And then at the end, we move back to the C and the E flat. You can do that with fingers two and four or three and four, your choice. Exercise 67. Moving on to number 68. Keep your fourth finger down on the upper note 
while you play in the bass, finger three, one, open, and then two. Replay the upper note in the next measure and hold it down. That's gonna be finger four still. And the bass is going to be finger one, open, three, open. And then at the end, you can play either finger three or two on the lower note and finger four on the upper note. Again, finger three or two on the lower note. Number 68. Number 69, same bass as number 68, but the upper note is different. This time you're holding a G on the first string. We'll play that with your fourth finger. Keep holding that down while you play the bass line. The bass line is going to be finger three, one, open, and two. Next measure, replay the upper note, keep holding it down, and bass is going to be finger one, open, three, open. We end with fingers three and four. Number 69. And finally, number 70 at the bottom of page 18. Number 70, same bass line as number 69, but this time the upper voice is going to change in the second measure. Keep your fourth finger down on this upper note. As you play in the bass, finger three, one, open, and two. Next measure, the upper voice changes to a G on the first string. Play that with your fourth finger as well. Keep holding that down as you play in the bass. Finger one, open, three, and then open. And then at the end, you can play either fingers three and four, and the upper note has changed back to the original note, or you can play fingers two and four. Your choice. Number 70. Remember, you can download these exercises and a bunch of other stuff for free from my website. Click the link in the description and scroll down until you find the Finger Independence PDF. And for more guitar lessons, music theory, and solo guitar arrangements, please subscribe.